I can't believe this is basically free. Hello and welcome. Have you seen these? Even if you have, I bet you've missed out on an amazing miniature freebie. My husband found these on sale for $2 each. I love this one and he loves the rest. I almost didn't see that they jumped onto the miniature bandwagon. I was looking at the box when I found this. There's five to collect, but we only have four. That's all we could find. Let's put these together and then look at an added adorable bonus that I found. Each one comes with different items on the back, but they all come with a miniature box of cereal. Now I learned a little late, I like to actually cut it a little lower here just so I can close up the bottom, just in case I want to put anything in there. This one comes with a refrigerator, stove, countertop, cupboards, and the back wall. I love the clock. Let's go ahead and cut them out. And here we are. Let's go ahead and do the other three. I went ahead and grouped these in categories. Three of the four came with little figures. We've got the Trix Rabbit, the Lucky Charms Leprechaun, and the Cinnamon Toast Crunch mascot. Each has their own stand. This one you can actually fold over so it has two different faces. One on the front and one on the back. Moving on. Here are some of the furniture pieces. The art room, we have an easel where you bend this backward and it makes a stand. We have a bookshelf, refrigerator. This is a table and we have two chairs. Now, even though these do not fit into my one six scale world, they are really cute. I'm thinking about giving them to Kitten to use with her LOLs. Now the tricks and Reese's actually came with countertops and one set of cupboards. Even though I'm really not going to use these for this purpose, these would actually be really cute as small cupboards, maybe in a daycare or something to that effect. Just an idea. Here are the backgrounds for each one. They are very vibrant and colorful. I won't be using them for the way they're intended, but I'm going to steal the clock, some of the artwork, maybe even that boom box. And I really like this artwork. Who knows, you could even cut around the window and use it in your diorama. Now on to my favorite part. These are the cereal boxes. They're so stinking cute. If you cut them out the way they say, you're going to end up with an open empty bottom. This is the first one I cut out, so that's how it ended up. If you bend them on the lines, they said to cut this out I think too, but I'm not going to. Looks more realistic if you don't. Probably would be better if I used a ruler, but I can't find mine at the moment, so we're just going to freehand it. And then show you how I put it together. I have it folded, looking pretty good. Now you can see where you fold over and glue it, but it's got a gap right there. I'm going to trim this down and then trim this down just a hair to get rid of that white dotted line. Fits perfectly right there. Let's glue it together. I'm going to take my tacky glue, add just enough. Oops. That might possibly be a little bit too much, but that's all right. It'll dry. I'm gonna wait a minute. Gotta love the neighbors. And that's not my really nice, good neighbor. This is the neighbor across the street. I think they have a muffler problem. All right. And yes, it's a little bit too much. And then we just hold it until it sticks. Here's how this one turned out. I don't like the open bottom. I really don't. So with these, I'm gonna cut it and create a bottom. Let me show you how it turned out. Here are the four cuties. They turned out so totally awesome. This one was a little bit short on the bottom, so it didn't turn out as good as I had hoped, but it's the only one out of the three that can stand on its own. These are just a little bit too thick on the bottom, and they, oh, whoops, I was wrong. Now this one definitely doesn't do it. Yeah, so I was wrong, two out of three. Not bad. Now I promised you an adorable little bonus, so let's do that right now. Actually, there's two bonuses. The first one, super easy, but they have the picture of the mini cereal boxes. You can cut these out and put them on your own boxes to make even miniature minis. So that was one. The second one, they each came with the examples of how they're supposed to be displayed. If you cut these like this, Bend over the sides. Your doll has their own miniature diorama. Now these two are a little bit off, but if you cut along the bottom of the bookcase, this just looks like more artwork. This one, I think there's no hope for that one. 
but you could always cut it all the way down so it looks like the tables and chairs are right there anyway. These two are definitely my favorites from the many, many dioramas. Of course, my favorite is this, the Lucky Charms Mini Cereal. I hope you enjoyed seeing who else is getting in on all the mini mania. Check out this video next, and until next time, toodaloo!